Opie, the sun's up. Are you ready to start your cat day? It's going to be a good day, huh? Yeah, it is. Get some of that nice warm sunshine. Oh, it feels good. Where's Tara? Is she still in bed? Let <laughs> me check. Yeah, her still in bed, yeah. Tara, it's time to wake up. It's time to be a wake up girl, Tara. Get the day going. I'm excited, guys. Things are gonna look a little different out here, hopefully, today. And a beautiful sunny day here in Sholo, the high desert of Arizona. Good morning, everyone. It's 7.15 in the morning. Sunshine's up, blue skies behind me, hopefully. Although, I really have like no gauge of what's gonna happen today. Hopefully, we'll get some rock trucks delivering some rock to this area here and see how far down the driveway we can go. But uh, they've canceled on me twice already, two other days. So um, a lot of gnats in the air. You can see them everywhere. Yeah, I got projects today. While they're doing that, I want to get the barbecue grill put together and assembled over there. I want to fix the KFC sign. And heh, yesterday was a garbage day out here at the property. I had two straight perfect pickups and everything worked great. And then yesterday they didn't pick up my garbage. I logged into my WM waste management account and it says that I was serviced at 1.48 p.m. yesterday. I called them and said, no, I was not. My trash can is still full. And they said, oh, did you forget to bring it out? No, no, I put it out the night before and it's still out here on the road. I haven't touched it. So we argued back and forth. They said they emptied my trash can. I said, you clearly did not. They said, well, we can do another uh, pickup tomorrow for $7.80. I don't think I should pay for that because your driver lied and did not pick up my garbage. They're like, nope, he was out there. He documented <laughs> Guys, listen. So I need to invest in one more wireless camera. I'm going to put it right there on that tree. I'm going to aim it right there. And the next time the trash guy wants to lie and not do his job and charge me extra for him being lazy, I am going to submit some video files. I don't like it when people do that to me. He got me one week, but he is not gonna get me again. I'm putting the camera, actually I'm gonna move this camera out there today just to capture what happens, so. But anyway, uh, gotta put these panels away, but I'm gonna wait till the last minute so I can get some solar. All right, it's 9.27 in the morning now. They were supposed to be out here at first thing, first stop, 8 a.m. Just finally got a phone call. Uh, Mike is out there for some reason servicing another property first, even though Dawn told me I would be first today. That uh, I tell you guys, this has been, uh, this has been a very unpleasant, uh, arrangement with this company. And, um, I just, I just want some rock. I, I'm so fed up and tired of it. <laughs> I have literally no expectations, but I'm going to start working on some more projects because they're still an, another hour and a half away. They won't be here till after 11 now. So, uh, yeah, well, no, actually now that I have some free time, I'm gonna call the propane people, see if they can get out here today, since I'm here at the property. All right, no rock yet, but look at this crane. That's right, Griffin's propane is here on site, and they're gonna put me in a 120 gallon propane tank here. Pretty cool. This is the one I was telling you about before that they'll refill it, come out here whenever I need it for $2.69 a gallon, which is crazy price for a delivery of propane and he's going to tap into my main RV system but also make it temporary in case I go camping I can just unhook it leave it and go there she goes Ooh-wee! propane 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 well he's really lifting it up high I bet that thing's pretty heavy oh please don't drop it on Frida <laughs> that's cool this is gonna be a huge life comfort. No more filling up my propane at base camp. They're gonna fill it up for me. I love it. Oh, oh. It's also gotta be a pretty heavy truck. Oh, I see he's got the stilts down, the, the stabilizer jacks on the side there. So that's cool. <laughs> wow. Isn't that neat how they do that?
pretty cool. And he brought some uh, cinders to uh, stabilize it and keep it from moving. I bet it's fun working with robots on a truck, you know? There's, there's worse jobs out there. That's pretty cool. So I wonder how long 120 gallons are gonna last. I'll bet they don't get quite that much in there, maybe 95 or 100. But yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how much propane I'm gonna go through now that I think it's unlimited and it's not an inconvenience to go take the little canisters to swap and plus the cost itself. Uh, there is a $60 setup fee through Griffins to set this up and make sure there's no leaks and wire it up and everything. But I mean, just you're gonna instantly save that $60 just in two trips of getting stuff filled or exchanged. So it's worth it. All of a sudden, everything's getting done. Uh, he brought a smaller truck to get this uh, front part here. So um, this will be a different kind of an unload situation, but we're getting rock. And my propane guy over here is building me a custom little regulator, all the piping that we're gonna need. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so this is a 10 yard truck. Uh, he's gonna be doing two of these. And then he's gonna go get the bigger truck, the 20 yard truck, and come back a little bit farther to get rock here. He's gotta make some piles instead. So I'm gonna be doing some work later, but at least we're gonna get rock on here before the next big rain. Oh yeah. That's that uh, Grizzly Run rock. Looks black. It's pretty cool. But we don't want to trap in the propane people, so he's going to move on and dump some rock in the front of Babe the Blue Box so that his truck can still get out here in a minute. I'll have a little bit of work to do, but yeah. And it doesn't look too dusty, really. Okay. Going to be a busy day here at camp all of a sudden. Been waiting for a bunch of projects and all of a sudden they're all happening right now. Thank you for the first load. Go fill up again. So it's not going exactly as I had it planned in my head as I saw videos and other things done, but um, it's, it's gonna be okay because those little trucks are meant for like filling the, the, the gaps and stuff. So he's going to get one more and then he's gonna kind of drop it off here so that we can get this section. Then when he goes to get the larger truck, that's the one where he can pull into where the propane guy's at right there, open it up like this and then set the gate to a certain level. And then he can turn out this way and finish the driveway. And he's just gonna keep unloading all the way down on the third truck load to see how far down the driveway we're gonna get. But for right now, we're just kind of doing some mounds here and we don't want to trap in the propane guy. All right, propane guy just left. Uh, another truck just showed up, another 10 yard truck. I've been kind of dinking around, raking it around. What I real, or shoveling it, I need a rake. But this is gonna be great. And so, uh, and that'll go back there. So what he's gonna do now is kind of open it up so that it just kind of flows as he's driving to kind of go down the driveway around this way. It's to be interesting. All right, he just opened it. And there he goes. <laughs> we got rock. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of rock. I'm going to follow him down the driveway. Heck yeah. And that's only a 10 yard. The last truck we'll get will actually be a uh, 20 yarder. How cool is this? A driveway, y'all. Wow. Yeah, dump it all right there. That covered the whole driveway. I mean, obviously, still that this part needs to get filled. And I think when he brings the other truck, he's going to start right next to it to get this far. But that did really well, actually. He actually had to close it back up at the end of the road. So he's going to dump the last little bit here from this 10 yard and then go get the 20 yard. Perfect. All right, just sitting here under, under my tree with a smile on my face because uh, getting rock out here was tricky. Uh, I have a I have the other appointment to come take my trash today I did talk to him over the phone and they confirmed that the driver emptied my trash yesterday, which It's just 
it's really frustrating when you're dealing with someone over the phone and you're like, believe me, I'm standing at my trash and it's got the same trash in it from last week. So that one's frustrating. But again, you live out in the country, like uh, Kevin brought up when I was telling about all the rock delays, he said, that's, that's just the show low. The show low time is what he called it. I called it the, the show low no show effect. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that uh, Alex has been doing awesome here spread, spreading this. I, he's left me a lot of work, which I was not anticipating from watching videos, but it is what it is. You know, we're going we're gonna to get this spread here, at least in the front of the property, so that the whole front one quarter of the property is going to have the uh, grizzly run gravel rock here. And then we'll see how this kind of works throughout the rainy monsoon seasons of the summer, see if we want to switch it up. Now, from what I can tell, it's exactly the same stuff as the red cinder that Kevin has. It's just different. And uh, I think it's, it's going to work really, really well out here. But if it doesn't, once we get this, this loop finished, which will go all the way around the property that way so that there's a turnaround in, in here, uh, I don't know. I, I may go with a different company, may go with a different uh, rock product. But uh, this is going to help out a lot because... That, that clay and everything and, and my propane tank. I'll show you, it's, it's all finished and installed here. I forgot to mention, it, there is an annual fee of $60. I don't think they told me that over the phone. So uh, I'm renting this, I don't own this. Uh, Sholo Griffin Propane uh, owns this and I pay $60 a year to rent it, but it's still, it's it's that convenience thing, you know. So I think it's I think it's just the only way to go if you're if you're really gonna homestead and camp out on your remote property for propane, propane, propane. Oh, and he built me a copper line that goes to it that bypasses the regulator in here, just like I was doing when I had the little tanks. So if I need to leave, if something happens, if I want to go camping, it is super easy to uh, unhook and and head out. But right now, I'm all about getting comfortable. My uh, cacti in the window is looking pretty good. I wish they got a little bit more sun, but the sun being up so high, they're only getting a little bit of sun. I may have to move them outside or transplant them pretty soon here, maybe. What do you think, Bobblehead Eric? Yeah, more sun. <gasps> I hear a truck. I hear a truck. I think. Oh yeah, he's backing up. Sweet. This is uh yeah, this is a much bigger truck. Okay, let me get out there. Yeah, it's a 20 yarder. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It is a little dusty, but once you get a little bit of rain, it's gonna be just fine. Yeah, get that corner real good right there. Yeah, that way I can spread it a little bit more that way too. And then have him back up all the way over here, kind of towards a smart car, start dumping there, finish the driveway again. All right, I just settled up with Cash, and uh, he's gonna do the last load. Look at that diesel flow, yeah, yummy. So we'll get it really thick over there, and then he'll drive out, and then I won't see him again, unless I order more rock. Tilting, 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 yeah. Look at all those diesel, how dare you? I love it. And he popped the gate, and there he goes. If he gets down to the driveway, he's going to kind of hug to the left. And if he gets down there and still has rock, he said he's going to be able to put it in reverse and come back and put a little bit more on it. Just makes it a little bit wider now, you know. Oh, there is a lot of rock left. Yeah, he's going to be backing up. <laughs> That's awesome, though. And now hugging the left a little bit right there. Yep. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I think he took out one of my lights. That's all good. Yeah, a lot of rock, really. Getting all this good stuff here, yeah. That's perfect. $682 cash. You get a discount if you do cash. And uh, that actually did really, really well. Let's walk down to the end of the driveway and we'll take a peek. Oh, by the way, real quick, he didn't hit that light. <laughs> I thought he got really close to it, but we're good. All the lights are good. Didn't hear anything, but let, nope, still trash. Okay. All right, so the front all looks good. I'm gonna have to level out a little bit here. In fact, I may even move some of this to over here since the driveway goes like that. 
But yeah, it's turned out really well. Lots and lots of rock to play with and no mud. And it's totally different than Kevin's. It's not red cinder, it's black cinder. So, you know, it's a little unique. <laughs> And despite the frustrations with the company and the cancellations and things going on like that, Alex was uh, a really nice person, really professional here, very kind, very, you know, he left me a little bit of work over here, but that's okay. There's a big mound right here in the middle of the driveway that's gonna go over here. And then we've got room to spread that over there almost all the way to the trailer. We've got enough rock here to fill in the front driveway. And then that big mound right there also can go back over there on the side of the RV where that dirt's at. So I, I have a lot of work to do and I don't own a rake. I just have the shovel. So um, let me see, will a rake fit in the smart car? Probably, I'll add it to my list, but uh, it may be a couple days or a couple videos until I get this really completed out here. Um, but, but really for the value, under 700 bucks, for all this, I just came back to give me my receipt. I forgot to get my pink copy of the receipt there because I paid for cash. It's a little different, but uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is gonna work out, I think. This is gonna be a lot better, a lot better. I'm glad we did this. And then later on, I've, I've shown you guys before, but the road, the loop, the uh, camp loop will go all the way around the back so people don't have to turn around. They'll come back out over here, shoot out over here and leave here with a dump station right here if friends need to use it. So yeah, okay. Hey, got the barbecue, I forgot to show you, I got the barbecue put together and well that was, I do not want to do that again for a very long time. The instructions were horrible, no words, just terrible, terrible pictures. But we've got a nice, clean, $96 Walmart grill and I want to, I want to grill some burgs. I thought I got like a really cheap version because there's no button, you know, at 90, for $96 you don't get an igniter, but it says it's built in. It's built in, let's try this. Let's turn on the middle one here. Oh, nothing, hang on. Are we sure we're on? Oh, that would always help, Eric. Propane, propane, you gotta turn it on, Eric. Now, still might take a while because we have to get some propane in the line. I hear it. We're going. I think just the middle one will work since I'm just gonna do one burger here. Cool. Cool beans. Let's let this close. Oh, we don't have a thermometer up here to tell us. Well, that's okay. We'll let it, we'll let it preheat here. And I'm not doing those frozen patties anymore. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive to get the, the fresh ones, but they taste better and they're just all around better. First official flip on the new barbecue. Yeah. All right, first official, well, non-microwaved cheeseburger here on the property, fresh grilled. Not too bad, Eric. I got another one on the grill too. Turned into a Randy. Where's my cheeseburger? <laughs> yeah. Just got back from Home Depot in Tater Tot picked up a rake that actually fit in my smart car. And this is the before with the big mounds like that. I have already finished leveling all the way down to the end of the driveway. Of course, it's gonna take a few trips in different vehicles to push this down, a few reins, and then I'm gonna have to, wherever the tire grooves are, I'm probably gonna move more rock from the middle or the side to pack that back down again. But guys, check it out. <laughs> An empty garbage can. Yay! Rather than keeping it out at the road, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it right here and just be a little different. Anyways, I'm gonna work here on the homestead, guys. You guys be well from Opie and Tara and I. We will see you in the next video here. Bye guys. Whoop.